we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. I'm here. Finished? Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. Jesus, what the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. Wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. O'Brien said he had news. He knew her middle name, Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? There he is. Yo. Shit. Gotta stop doing that. What you got? All right, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that, we, that they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, okay. Right. Anyway, uh, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was in, admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she uh, survived. The stab wound she survived. Yeah, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of the Okay, so, so she could still be alive. Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived? They survived. Look, 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 look. There was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w is an artery. Infected freaks poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel, some feds, people with clearance. Nero personnel, the soldiers, the guys with the guns? The guys that should have been protecting no, no, the there's civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, They're no, too strong. I know all They're too about fast. hordes. Oh, they right. knew that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. That there was no hope. There was no time. There was no room. Okay, we would already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand. If you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would've been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. <laughs> You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. All things a waste of my goddamn time. Oh, what the hell? Boozer? Boozer? 
Oh, God damn it, booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Ah, shit. Ah, right. Booze, man, where the hell did you go? Book tracks. That's gotta be his. Okay, let's take a look around. What the hell is this? All right, what have we got? Uh, this way. Deke, you still there? This is Ricky. Deacon St. John. Uh, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. What's up? Schizo's been asking for you. Said Boozer never showed up for his work duty. I, I was worried. No, look, we're fine. We just had some stuff that we needed to get done. Tell Schizo we'll be back in an hour. Okay. Hey, I'm almost ready to head back out there and fix that transformer. You still in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just the... Great, let me know when. I can feel that hot water now. Gonna let that shower run forever. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's, that it sounds great. Listen, uh, Ricky, I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. Deke, over here! Oh, Jesus, Boozer, what the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out, and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy, fella. He's not infected. You are he's, shit. he's just a dog. They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just, no, we can't. We can't leave him here, Deke. Uh, we just, we can't. We right, can't do right, it here. Here, let me, uh, let me do it. Really? You, you can. Okay, boy. Okay, you see, it's okay. All right, just hold oh, it. Jesus, D. God damn it. It's okay. okay. Just that's it. All right. It's okay, big guy. Rest. Rest. Well, there's so much to go through there and uh, pick through. Uh, this Adam at Hound of Hell Gaming took a long time to get to talk they were so busy at the start of this episode um so there's a chance that sarah's alive but o'brien doesn't think so boozer wants to kill rippers for dogs and i'm all for that i'm with him all the way i'll fight to the end of the earth to protect the dogs simple as that um i wonder where this leads with the o'brien story now I have played the game before, I do remember some of it, uh, I do remember some of the big parts of the story, which I'm not going to ruin as I go along, but there are lots of things that I just can't remember. Uh, I don't remember if we ever see O'Brien again, except for at the end of the game, um, it's going to be interesting to see. Disappointed. Well, I just, I hate those sons of bitches, you know? Yeah, 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 come on, let's, uh, let's get the hell out of here. So what the hell happened back there? You seem sort of, I don't know, like, uh, like you lost it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just, I needed some payback for this shit. But, uh, there's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know? If you hadn't made this shit for me, you know, my arm, I mean, I don't know where I'd be. I guess I'd... Well, you know. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, not like I got a choice. Not like any of us do, right? Yeah, okay, come on. There's your bike. Hey, how'd it go? Or oh, what go? You know, goddamn well, your guy in the spacesuit, what'd he say? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on, goddammit. 
because you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what'd he say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady? Where's your old lady? Huh? Stay down, brother. Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you mourned her long enough? I think. I think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> Come on, man. I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Camp ain't gonna feed itself. Yeah. It's the only move I got. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times in a row. Oh, fucking shameful. <laughs> Where are we headed? Back to camp. No, no. I still gotta work a shift. Give me a ride up there. It's, it's just north of Sherman's camp. Okay. The booze man don't mess around, does a Knocking me out nice and easily. One punch, down we go. So, she died that night. And there was nothing you or anyone could have done about it. I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done. Schizo, you there? Lost Lake Camp, Schizo. Yeah, yeah, what's up? We just had a run in with... Hey, where the hell is you, bro? We skipped work duty today. What the hell, man? Just, just shut up and listen to me. I was giving him a ride to the work site, and we were attacked by rippers. Oh, Jesus. Where? Outside of Rogue Camp. You gotta tell Iron Mike. Carlos is coming, and he is not going to stop. What do you think I've been telling him? For months. Yeah, I'll let him know. We're heading toward Tumalo now. Loser will be at the site in a few minutes. Well, that's great. Because he owes the camp another half shift for the work he's missed. Shut up, Schizo. Hey, Deke. Uh, road camp is kind of in the opposite direction of Tumalo, isn't it? We took the scenic route. Out. Asshole. Goddamn, Schizo. You guys, come on, keep working, keep at it. We don't work, we don't eat. Right already. That's it. Hey, thanks for the ride. We all start. There you go. I don't understand why no one hasn't addressed the elephant in the room. Boozer has one arm. And he's working out in the field with manual tools. That you definitely need two arms for. Why has it not been a suggestion for him to just go out and do runs? Get on the back of the bike with me. Get on the back of the bike with somebody else. I don't get it. Mike. Good. Boozer and I, uh, we just had a run in with Rippers. They... Just 
listen. No, Mike. They were here, in Rogue Camp. Rogue Camp? There were Rippers in Rogue Camp? You sure it was Rippers? Jesus, Mike, yeah. They're kind of hard to miss, you know, with the scars and acting crazy, killing anything that moves. All right, just calm down. We got a parlay for the Let's get us heading over to Iron Butte tomorrow. We'll find out what the hell's going on and then we'll... You're sending Schizo to parlay with Carlos. Jesus, Mike. Don't tell me how to run my camp, Deke. Like I said, my treaty is gonna hold Lost Lake out. Hell, whatever you say, Mike. Whatever you say, Schizo's right. You're gonna get everyone killed. Hey, loser. I'm, uh, I'm heading up to Marion Forks. Marion Forks? What the hell for? Because I decided... Hell, it's like you said. I've, uh, I've mourned her long enough. It's, uh, time to say goodbye. Are you heading to the church? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Jesus, Deke. It's the last time, loser, I swear. Deke, get out. Hey, okay. I'll see if I can make time peeking out. I'll see if I can uh, make time. Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. What does Nero want? They disappear for two years, come back guns blazing? Don't bother trying to find out. You'll get yourself killed. Besides, we already know. Watch them skulk around. They can handle these woods better than me. They're doing something with the freaks. Tracking them. Studying them. Watching them. Making notes in their little notebooks. And you know why? They're gathering info. Seeing how long it takes for these sons of bitches to die or starve off. Probably trying to get a read on when the feds can re-emerge from their hidey holes and crawl back into their unjust positions of power. For once, the freaks are on our side. Longer they're here, the longer the feds can rot down there in their stony prison. Well, it may not be ours anymore, but thanks to the freaks. It doesn't belong to the feds either. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Once again, Cope, you don't know shit. Freaks ain't on anybody's side in the world. It already belongs to them. I remember this mission very well. It's the only time we can go in the church, I think. Um, yeah, it's uh, a big part of the story. Uh, it's, it's something that... I mean, I haven't played The Last of Us. So it's hard for me to say. But I uh, watched my wife play The Last of Us. And I feel like the main story of this game is better than the main story of The Last of Us. Especially the bits that came from before the zombies took over. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. It has no beginning and no end. 
This ring is my promise that I'm always going to love you. And I ain't ever going to leave you. But you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, I'm gonna just go. <laughs> Get a room! <laughs> Who's man? You there? Yeah, Deke. What's up? You remember that little church? The one Sarah and I got married in? Well, I found a couple of assholes trash in the place. Wish I'd been there. I'd have helped you kill them all. Messing with Sarah's church. Shit. Yeah. Anyway, just checking in. Deacon out. Addy, you there? Lost Lake Infirmary, can you read me? Deacon, I'm here. Addy, good, good. Look, um, are you gonna be around for a while? I, uh, I, I need to see you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, look, nothing, I'm, I'll tell you. When I get there, Deacon out. Hey, um, okay. Yeah, I'll check in. Be can out.
I got a use for you. Always need scrap. Hey, me again. Uh, it's been crazy here, I gotta tell you. Um, remember that night in Farewell? Or, yeah, well, no one's forgetting about that. Any, uh, the Nero guy, O'Brien. He's alive? He, well, he's alive. And, yeah, I admit, I uh, thought for a while, I, I thought that maybe you might be too, which... <laughs> Would have made me feel real stupid for coming up here all this time, and, well, I, I guess I do still feel stupid since you didn't die here. Uh, but I'm, I'm re real sorry that I wasn't there when you went in for that surgery and when you got out. Six hours, O'Brien said, Jesus, you were always a fighter, I mean... I, should have been there uh, when your camp was overrun. I should have been there for that, too. So, anyway, loser settling in. <clears throat> I think I told you that he lost the arm. Uh, goddamn rippers. That was a shit show. Um, we're still at the Lost Lake camp. Looks like he's, it looks like we're going to be there for a while. Well, <laughs> there we are. <sighs> he's still a pain in the ass. I mean, you know how he gets, so, I mean, the other day he got drunk off his ass, decided to walk home. Jesus, you should have seen him, and I, I don't know what he, 
Look, I, I'm just saying I'm, I'm worried about him. Okay, I gotta go. So, uh, yeah. I'll be back. Bye. Light it up. Let's see what I can do. Fragrance. If they see me, I'm dead. I don't understand how Deacon seems to have lost all hope about Sarah from the conversation they just had. The first thought that came into my mind when he was talking to O'Brien was, Sarah is a botanist. They would definitely need people like that, scientists. Like, she's gonna have clearance. Why is that not a thought in Deacon's mind? Now, I know that he's not the most a academic of people, but come on.
said this drifter comes in. Pops down a whole string of freaker ears. Deacon! We got stuff if you need it. There you go. Okay then. <laughs> See you around. What can I get for you? How's the bike business going, Zanny? Zanny, I'll you? be back. Deacon, thank God. What's wrong, Tuck? It's oh, rippers. Around. More goddamn rippers. Oh, good rippers. Okay, where? They keep coming over the Ironview Pass. Now they've set up a camp along Bear Creek, just south of here. I'm afraid, Deke, if we don't stop them, what's gonna happen to the hot springs? I oh, don't know. I get it. I get it. Don't worry about this, Tuck. I got this. Hey, Deacon. Okay, just stopping by. What else can I do for you? You could use a gun like that. Find me if you need anything else. Let me know if you need anything else. I'm so close to uh, to getting the level 3 here and being able to purchase the guns and everything. Uh, I need to put all my bounties here. Uh, I need to bring all the food for the kitchen here. And I need to do as many missions as I can. Clear out any camps around here. Any uh, hordes or nests. Just to get that XP so that I can get to level 3. I need to get to level 3 before we move to the other side of the map. Scouting party. Kill him. Kill him all. All Deke. Yeah, talk. You don't gotta tell me. Say, John. Out. Goddamn Ripper's my friend. Lost an arm because of you bastards. You wanna rest in peace? I can help you out with that. Come on, you sons of bitches. Come on. You wanna get low, huh? Someone's here. Oh, oh, damn rippers. Rest in hell. The lot of you. It's 2300 uh, XP there for the uh, hot springs. So we're over 20k now. Uh, we need less than 5k to uh, get to level 3. It's done. Did you get them all? Uh, yeah, Tuck, I got them all. Isn't that what you're paying me for? Sorry, it's just... <sighs> this is the third time they've come up here, attacking our camp, taking and killing that poor girl, Lisa. We have to stop them, Deke. We have to. Uh, Tuck, 
Yeah, son of a bitch. Uh, listen, I've been to Iron Butte and uh, I've seen part of what they're building. What? When? How? How did you? No, it doesn't matter, but trust me on this. There's too many of them. Hundreds, maybe, maybe thousands. And if they decide to come north, you ain't gonna stop them. You just ain't. All right, so just keep doing what you're doing. You kill any that cross the border, and that's gonna let Carlos know that he ain't moving north without a fight. That's the best you can do. St. John out.
Hey, it's all good. Let him in. Deacon, how you been? <laughs> Deke, oh, you're not gonna believe this one. I don't know, Cope. I've seen a lot of unbelievable shit these past couple years. Try me. Hmm. You remember the anarchists? Came through a year ago, maybe more, killing anyone in their path? Leaving their little piles of stones everywhere they went? Anarchists. Yeah, yeah, we had a couple of run-ins with them back in the day. Well, they're back. Two of my people stumbled into their camp while out hunting deer. Only Bender made it back. She said it was anarchists. Each of them had the symbol painted on their face. Jesus, where? Where does she see the camp? I'll mark it on your map. You find them and kill every last one of them. We got enough crazy up here dealing with rippers. Don't need anarchists moving back in. Maybe you get that right. I'll find them. Hmm? Sorry. I wasn't listening. Hey, hey. Haven't seen you around much lately. Thought maybe you'd gone up north without me. Jesse, no, no, we haven't gone up north. Boozer's, um... Boozer can't ride anymore. He's, uh, well, we're, we're, we're down at Lost Lake Camp, and I don't think that we're going anywhere. Jesus, Deke. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I mean, I, I heard rumors coming in from the shit, you know, that Boozer was hurt or whatever, but I didn't know it was that bad. It was. Look, uh... The offer stands. When we, if we head north to Smith Rock, you're coming with us. You got that? Yeah, Deke. Sure. Whatever you say, man. Yippers. Hey, Deke. Ah, never mind. You uh. Have That's to it. Stay whole out there. You hear me? Well, that was a weird old conversation. Very, very strange. Uh, you know, they've just made her feel like she's a big part of Deacon's life and we have no idea who she is. Cool, cool, cool. So, Anarchists, we're going to have to go and deal with those guys. New new bad guys for us to deal with, which is cool. Uh, I can't wait to go do that. Let's get it done. <laughs> as sleek as ever, man. Okay, man. No, no, I'll keep an eye out for more shit. See you around. Deacon St. John. Hold on. I'll get it. What the hell happened here? Well, uh, wonder if they left anything worth the effort.
so before we go and do the anarchists and the rest of the side missions, I'm going to head back to the main camp. I thought there was a... Uh... Oh, there they are. Yeah, I'm going to head back to the main camp and see what this story is about. So, thank you very much for watching. And we'll start with a bang in the next episode. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.